Okay, let's start this video. Today's video is self-explanatory. We are going, so my wife, okay, so this is the situation right here. Me and my wife purchased this property here for $20,000 in the state of Florida. We previously owned the property on the opposite side of that fence. We paid about $3,000. The gentleman in the middle paid about 30 for that property there in the middle. We sold that little slither of property for $8,000, profited $5,000. So at the moment we're waiting for our home to get built. So we're staying here part-time. So right now we stay here about three days a week. We stay at our other home for the rest, but we removed everything out of the home. So my wife wants to be able to use our previous washer and dryer. Spent a lot of money, about $2,000 for the pair. Really nice, I forget what brand it is. I think it might be, oh, Samsung. Really nice Samsungs, brand new. So what we're gonna be doing here is, as you can see right now, crazy mess, trying to mess around. This is the water that we're using, 250 gallons. So this right here is attached to a pump that we have inside here. We have the pump, we have a water heater. The water heater is attached to these outlets coming out of the bus. So today's video is only going to be about the washer and dryer. I will be showing a separate video on how to do the hookup of the water heater. Really nice water heater. Cost about $180 on Amazon. It's an eight gallon. Don't know if you guys are able to see it. Okay, perfect. It's an eight gallon water heater. It uses about 1500 watts. Takes about 20 minutes to get fully hot and the way we're powering it is off our 9,000 watts Blue Eddy that's getting solar through here. We're getting about 2,400 watts from these solar panels right here. This is gonna be another project that we'll be installing these solar panels on a movable buggy. So we have these six solar panels. Each solar panel gives about 400 to about 450 watts. So right now we're looking about 2,400 watts. This is our little fireplace that I used to burn everything. I wish I would have done this as a video. This was one of my first builds. I built a custom food truck and at the moment we're selling it because I want to build my wife a larger one. Putting a bunch of stuff in it, the six feet wasn't enough. So I'm going to try to do something that's about eight feet for her and about 16 feet long. That right there is a 12 footer. And this is what we're going to be mounting our water at right here. So we'll have the washer and dryer on the inside. We'll have the power plug that connects to this generator. So mind you, I won't be powering the, uh, the I won't be powering the dryer through the Blue Eddy and solar panels. I just don't think it'll be enough energy. We'll be using this generator right here, which call which which has 7,000 watts. We'll be using the 50 amp, the 240 volt. If I could take this off, so 240 volts, the power to dryer, and then. We'll use the uh, Blue Eddy to power the washer. Don't know how many watts that uses, but I'm hoping about 1500 or hopefully a little less. So what we'll be doing is I will be making an attachment similar to this on the Blue Eddy. I'll be making an attachment similar to this for the dryer vent. This is what I was using for the AC. So nice little dryer vent right there. And then I'll purchase an attachment so I don't have to make a hole that goes through this. I don't wanna make a hole through this to have the plug because I'll have to make a big, big hole, about a four inch hole. If I could put an attachment, so basically say this is the, uh, the outlet part that connects, I can put something right here, boom, it connects it to the, to the generator and make it that simple where we can always have the attachment on it. As you can see, these are our lines right here. I'm gonna be showing everybody how I did this, how I'm getting my hot water, how I'm getting my cold water. It's a really cool setup. And hopefully you guys like this video, man. It's a lot of work. I did build this right here. It might've cost me, I think about $250 to build this. This is a seven foot by 12 foot, just a little enclosed. It does not leak. 
it's airtight even though you see these uh this opening right here I, I left this opening so i'm able to put the uh the lines through i didn't want to put a hole of sorts going through there but um it's airtight on top we are using i don't know if you're able to see it but let's move back over here you see that red tub right there that white and red tub that is a a rubberized it's a rubberized paint so basically you roll it on and after a day it turns into rubber really good i do need to paint the outside of this so it doesn't mold out with some outdoor paint i'll be doing that another day but yeah let's get this uh let's get this video started the first thing i'm going to be doing is this i do need to clear out i do need to clear out everything here so what i'm going to be doing is this i'm going to clear out everything clear out everything get the washer and dryer on here put a shelf over the washer and dryer so i'm able to whatever's on the floor put it on top so i can actually use the ceilings room and then from there i'm gonna have to redo all this plumbing which is gonna suck but it's gonna happen so we'll be doing the install of the washer and dryer to the generator and then from there we'll be doing a separate video on the attachments right here for the uh Mizuto. I don't know if it's Mizuto. Yes, it's Mizuto. Eight gallons. Okay, this is a doozy. Okay. Whew, this got me sweating. <laughs> okay. This part goes over here. Let's fix this. Let's get this closer. Tilt this, get that on, boom. Okay, and then what we do is this. Put this here. Got these dang on mosquitoes getting me. Okay, tighten that bad boy up. Okay, we can actually put that right there. Okay, tighten that up and then flip this switch right here. <laughs> and now we're golden. The next one. We're gonna do this one a little bit easier. That kicked my butt. Okay. We'll bring this back over here. Okay. Okay. Let's lift this bad boy up. Okay. Now, let's uh, tilt this one forward. Boom, like we did the last one. Okay. Tilt this forward, boom, uh. and now, oh. Oh, nothing. What is that? Washer. Why do you have a washer? I'm trying to put a washer in the back of your truck. Okay, let's do this one real quick. Okay, let's bring this bad boy around. Tighten this thing up. But here's the washer and dryer. Okay. Now what I'm gonna be needing, I'm gonna be needing a 20, uh, 240 volt plug that will be accepting. This part right here. 
was a three socket. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a photo of this. It's a three socket. <clears throat> and then the generator is a weird Ford socket, but I do have an adapter that fits if I could find it. Don't know where I placed it. I do have an adapter. Once I find it, I'll let you guys see. Don't remember. Oh, it fell on the floor. So it goes from a four to an actual, uh, just your regular 240 volt. You know, this is what they normally are. Okay, I'm looking for halves. Okay, we're looking for halves. Five. Okay. I'm looking for the half halves. There's five, four, six, ninety-eight. Mm, okay. Right now, I'm gonna be going to electrical. I need to go to electrical. Let me get a bucket. Actually, let me get one of these. Need some. Uh, okay. I'm gonna need a two forty. So what we're gonna be needing is, I need a wall adapter, something like. But I'm going to need something that has a... Okay, so, see, something like this is pretty nifty. This one right here. This is an adapter, but this one goes from the top. So it plugs in through the top, as you see right here. This one right here, it is a 250, 50 amp. This one might be perfect, because I could plug it in give it what it needs basically make an extension okay so i did find it on i did find it but i'm gonna check on amazon see if i could find it cheaper it's 26 dollars here that's what i'm getting it's 26 actually let's uh go to lowe's let me scan this yeah i really don't want to spend 26 dollars if I can get on these people's internet. Okay. Let's see. What do we see? Ugh. The internet's so slow. I'm probably gonna have to. I guess I gotta redo this again. Try this one more time. Okay, 26 bucks. Yeah. It's about 10 bucks for the damn thing. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I really don't want to spend $30. That's my thing. I don't want to spend 30 bucks. I know. Oh, I'm gonna see about it. Give me a second, guys. Okay. 